Hey everyone, this is Jane from Plain Jane Makeup and let's talk about my October favorites. The first item I wanted to talk to you guys about is this Nature Republic Aqua Super Aqua Max Combination Watery Cream. And this is just a really nice lightweight cream that you could apply after you wash your face and I use this very last in my skincare regimen and it just kind of helps to lock in all of the different lotions and serums that I put on my face and it also smells really nice. And the thing I like about it is that it's very moisturizing yet it doesn't make your skin feel really oily and greasy which is a very big thing for me and I've actually used quite a lot of it and um, I just like that it's a very light finish and it's really light on the skin yet moisturizes it a lot. The next item I have is a lip balm and this is the Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm that has SPF 10 and it claims to be a smoothing plumping lip balm which I don't really use it for that sense. I use it more as a moisturizing lip balm for my lips and I actually apply this morning and night. I apply it right before I go to sleep and then first thing in the morning after I brush my teeth and wash my face. So it's actually kind of part of my skincare regimen. So I've really been liking this. It does have a very slight uh, rose scent. I'm actually not a huge fan of rose scented things but I could totally deal with this and I actually kind of like the scent that it has. It's very very subtle. It's not um, headachey at all and um, it's just a really nice lip balm. I wasn't sure if this next product was a skincare item which I think it kind of is. It's actually a fragrance and this is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne and I actually received this as a birthday gift from two of my best friends and I absolutely love this scent. I would constantly be going to the Jo Malone retail store, not the retail store, the Jo Malone stand at Nordstrom and I would um, always spray this on my skin and I think my friends finally saw that I really wanted it and after spraying it like more than five times I was sure that this was like the scent that I liked so they surprised me and got me this and a candle as well. It's really nice to mix with the other Jo Malone fragrances and I just like it because it's very light but it's long lasting on your skin and it definitely doesn't give you that like Oh, I have a headache because of like that fragrance smell. Am I the only one that's like really sensitive to different fragrances? Because I feel like I'm very sensitive when people are wearing really heavy, musky smells. I get headaches really easily, but this one definitely does not do that. I like it because it's really fruity and light, and yeah, it's just really good for every day. I know I talked about this product a while ago, but I'm mentioning it again because I like it so much and I haven't found a product that I can find comparable to it, which I'm sure there are a lot, but I actually really like this specific one, and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Treatment Corrector, and I use this as a concealer. I use it to conceal my dark spots as well as my under eye circles. I actually don't really have dark eye circles. I just get a little bit of puffiness, but I just like to put it underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. I can't really say if this has really helped me with my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation, but I do feel like it covers it up really well and it's really light on the skin and it doesn't make your face look cakey. When it comes to highlighting and contouring my face, I am such a noob. I'm not good at highlighting my face at all, but I've really been trying these days with the sample of the Benefit What's Up. And I don't know if it has a certain shade, Soft Focus Highlighter. And I actually received this little baby size sample from Sephora for my birthday. And it's just a really pretty champagne colored highlighter and it's really easy to use. I just kind of apply it to my cheekbones and then down the bridge of my nose and the edge of my chin. And I just blend it out with my beauty blender after applying my foundation. And I like it because it is really subtle, yet it really brightens up your face. I mean, do I look brighter? <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, it really does brighten your face. And I'm actually contemplating whether I should get 
the full size of this or if I should try something different. So if you guys have any suggestions about different highlighters that are out there that are really subtle, kind of like this, then please let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate that because when it comes to highlighting, seriously guys, I do not know anything about highlighting. The last beauty product I have is a nail polish, and this polish was given to me by my YouTube BFF, Sarah, also known as Only More. And this is the Skin Food Nail Vita, or Vita. And this is in the shade BR608 Skin Nail, or Skin Nail. So it's very natural, and it's just this nice skin tone color. And I actually have this on my nails right now. <laughs> And I really like this nail polish because it is very natural and it's very effortless. Like you don't have to apply too much to make it show up. Um, two coats will do you good. And I like it because it's appropriate for work, for school, and it goes with all your outfits. So I've really been liking this a lot. I think this is like my third or fourth time. I'm already in November and I'm still wearing this. So I really like this a lot. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> And I also have a candle that I've been burning all month long, and it is the Volu Spa or Voluptsa Goji Turaco Orange Candle, and it comes in this really pretty jar. And I think you can find these at Anthropology, but I bought mine at a store in Malibu. It's just, oh, the smell. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fruity, yet it has a little bit of warmth to it. I'm not really sure what a goji turaco orange is, but whatever it is, it smells freaking good. <sighs> and like this little candle, I'll burn it in my room and seriously, like my entire room, my closet and my hallway smell like this and it smells really good. And I'm actually thinking about purchasing the full size of this one, which is like this big because I like it so much. But yeah, definitely check this out if you can find it. It's not too pricey. This um, small pot was $10. So that is pretty much it for my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about the products that I mentioned, as always, please feel free to ask me down below or in a message, and I'll be glad to help you guys with that. And also, if you guys have any recommendations for highlighters, please let me know down below, because I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a lovely start to November, and I hope to see you guys very soon, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.